Hi everyone, welcome back to another video with Skillery. In this video, we're going to discuss about installing MongoDB on Windows 10. We are not only going to install MongoDB, but we are going to install MongoDB Compass for your front-end accessibility of MongoDB. If you want to continue to get such videos in future, please like, subscribe our videos so that we can continue to create free videos for you. Let's begin. Let me first download MongoDB installer. Open your browser and say MongoDB download. The first link that you see here, which is mongodb.com, you can either click on this or you can directly go to mongodb.com. You can directly go to mongodb.com and click on software. You can either go to the link that you have out here or to start with, you go to mongodb.com and go to software and in software you have different versions of the software which are available one is community version community server and enterprise server community server is a free open source database uh, if you are using this to practice or even for your production purpose you can go ahead because this is a free version enterprise server will have license charges so let's go ahead and then click on community server upon clicking on the link you would be forwarded to the option where you see cloud on-premise and tools but if you see community server version has already been expanded and you have an option to download so let me click on download and wait for the download to complete finally the file is downloaded let me click on the file to start the installation mongodb installation is pretty simple it will ask you to proceed for next step in this accept the agreement license agreement and click on next again and you have an option to customize or do a complete install let's go ahead with complete install in here it will ask you whether to choose mongodb as a service or you want to probably have a local or domain account let us run this mongodb as a service i'll probably create another video for you to choose the second option which says run service as a local or a domain user so let's continue with this option no changes whatsoever just click on next and in this screen you will find this option which says install mongodb compass which is a front-end tool for you to access mongodb right if you uncheck this it will not install it let me check it so that along with mongodb we would like to install mongodb compass as well click on next and finally it says ready to install mongodb 4.0 which is 64 bit again and click on install windows requires permission to allow this to install the software let me click on yes and once you do this we'll have to wait for some time for mongodb to get installed it would download a lot of libraries from uh, internet in case if your internet speed is fast then probably the installation step will go faster or else we'll have to wait for a few minutes for the installation to complete so looks like all the files are downloaded. Now it is at the step of installing MongoDB. If you see here, MongoDB installation is complete. Let me click on finish to come out of this console. And parallelly, if you see, since MongoDB Compass has been installed and you would see that the details available out here okay so let me close the browser that i have this is mongodb community but before we go ahead and then look at mongodb community let's first access mongodb from command prompt so if you want to access mongodb from command prompt first you need to know the path for mongodb installation so let me go to c drive program files okay so under program files go to mongodb server server version folder and click on bin this is the place where you have mongo uh, command line interface that you have right so if you want to access mongodb from your command prompt you'll have to go to this particular folder or if you want to access it from anywhere you want you have to add this particular path to your environment path variable so let me access mongodb from command prompt let me open cmd command prompt windows r and cmd and here if you say mongo it does not understand why because your mongodb application is actually under program files mongodb server version and bin folder 
I'll have to get to this path to actually access MongoDB. Okay. So if you actually want to access this from anywhere you want, let me exit from here, exit from the command prompt, copy the path, right click on this PC, click on properties, go to advanced system settings. Under advanced system settings, click on environment variable. Under environment variable, you have something called as user variables and system variables. Let me go to system variables and under system variable, you have something called as path. Open the path, under the path, click on new and paste the folder or the path that we have copied for MongoDB binaries. Say okay, okay, okay and close all the windows. Let me open command prompt again and in here I will say Mongo. Since we have added the path for MongoDB binaries to our path variable, any new window that you open from then on, you will be able to access Mongo from MongoDB shell from any path that you have on your command prompt. You have actually been connected to MongoDB. If you see here, it says Mongo shell version 4.4.0 connecting to MongoDB. This is the MongoDB, MongoDB server version 4.4.0, right? We have been able to successfully install MongoDB and access MongoDB here. There are a couple of commands that you have to be aware when you actually first log into your MongoDB. The first one is show DBs, which will list down all the DBs that you have. So once you list down, I may have little more probably from the previous install that I had, right? And you can log into any of these by saying use the DB which is available out there. Or if you want to create a new database, I will say use test. And if you see here, as soon as you say use test, right, you will see switch to database test. You are under test database. Test database is nothing but a schema under which you can actually start creating your collections. Collections are similar to tables in any RDBMS database. Okay, so you have switched to the database. And if you want to know in which database or schema that you're working on, just type DBs to list down the database that you're connected to at this point in time. And if you want to look at the collections which are available, you say, I'll say show collections. There are no collections, so it has not listed down any of the collections out here. And if you want to create a collection, you say tb dot create collection. Inside that, you say EMP. Right now, if you say show collection, collections, right, it lists down EMP. This is one way to create a collection. MongoDB gives you another option to actually, you know, create a collection as well as insert a document. When I say insert a document, it is like inserting a row inside a table. Here, if you see a collection is similar to a table, which is employee table, right? I can start inserting rows inside employee table if you have to compare it with an RDBMS, right? In case if you want to insert rows, in case of MongoDB, since it's a NoSQL DB, right, uh, the way it stores the data and the way you manage the data is completely different. We don't call insertion of some records inside the collection as rows. We call them as document. Okay. So let me show you another way to create a collection as well as insert a document inside it. So if you want to do that, I will say db.dept. Right, DPT uh, is the name of the collection that I'm going to create. DPT does not exist, but still I'll say DB, DPT dot insert of open brackets, square brackets, as well as curly braces. And I will say DPT number colon, I will say 10 comma, the name colon, I'll say research. Close the flower brackets, square brackets, and a bracket enter this way if you see it says one row inserted and there are no exceptions then that means our table actually has got created if i now say show collections it will show you two collections one is dpt and the other one is emp and if you want to list down all the documents inside your collection you would say db dot dpt dot it would list down the record and if you want to keep inserting multiple rows to it, you can go back to the insert command and keep inserting records in this way. Another record got inserted. So let me say db find. 
you will be able to see it as if it is a record and if you want to actually change the way you want to see it you say pretty right it would show you the details of each of these documents in a json format obviously whenever you see here it is again in the json format that you have stored right since mongodb is an unstructured database at any point in time if you want to insert and then keep adding columns it is left to you like i will say location is my column name uh, inside the document usually it is not called as a column name it is a key value pair that you have inside this i will say 30 department and I will say sales for this I will add another location as enter it and now go back and say find it and you will see the data that you have entered out here so throughout this exercise in this video we looked at how to install mongodb install mongodb compass so let's go back to MongoDB Compass and see whatever tables that we have created, whether they exist or not. So once you are in your MongoDB Compass, or let me close it, open it again fresh, double click on MongoDB Compass on my screen and wait for it to open. It takes a while to initialize MongoDB Compass. So every time you open, it kind of loads all the plugins that are available. So let's wait for the plugins to load and then we'll be up for MongoDB Compass. All right. Once you're on the screen, all you have to do is click on connect since it is local host. So it will let you connect to the system. And if you see here, there are multiple databases and you would also see the database that you have out here, which is test. So if you see here, it also tells you as to how many collections are available and how many indexes are available, which got created automatically when you created collections. This is your database, which is which you want to compare it with an RDBMS. It is uh, similar to a schema. Okay, so let me get inside. If you see here, I have two collections. One is employee and the other one is DPT. And in DPT, I have three documents and employee, I have zero documents. Let me click on DPT collection and you would see all three documents available out here. If you want to modify it, you click on modify. And if you want to keep adding any detail that you want, right, you can continue to do it. You can add different columns out here, right? Or if you want to add data, a new record itself, you can add a document, insert a document. And when you say insert a document, you are supposed to type in all the details that are available out here, right? Either in this format and keep adding it, or you can write a JSON file here itself, right? It is up to you as to how you want to add it. Like, let me try and add and show you as to how to add it. I will say DPT number. The value that I want to enter is 40. I will add another column. I will say D name, department name, that I would say marketing, and add another column which says location. Location, I would say US. And if you want to add another column, the collection does not have the column, you can keep adding it. Okay. And uh, the column that I would add is uh, department head. And I would say department head is, say, Mithun. Right. You can even change the data type that you want to right? or while creating from the back end, you can also mention the data type. OK, let me say insert and you would see that the data or the document got inserted out here. And if you want to come back and look at all the databases that you have out here inside your collection, close this and you would have all of these details up here. Right. Get inside test again. Want to refresh it with the latest data and you will see all four documents and get inside and keep adding or deleting the records that you want. I hope you like this video, understood the concept. In this video, we have discussed about how to install MongoDB, also parallelly install or together install MongoDB Compass and access MongoDB from command prompt. And we have looked at a couple of commands. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you want us to create more videos or on some topic that you want us to create, please comment to this video and we will try our best to create the videos for you as early as possible. Thank you so much. And before I say bye, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Bye-bye. Log in now to access all the courses designed by the experts of Skillery. If you like this video, subscribe to Skillery YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. Thank you.